Hi, this is Kevin from Mathsaurus, and in this video we're going to look at questions 1 to 5 of the Junior Maths Challenge from 2019. If you're preparing for the Junior Maths Challenge, also take my free online course, uh, Get Ready for the Junior Maths Challenge. In that course, you can practice real questions from recent Junior Maths Challenge papers. Every question has a video hint as well as a full video solution, and there are no ads or distractions like there are here on YouTube. Uh, sign up in the link below, no payment details required or, not, or anything like that, totally free of charge, so have a look at that now. There is also an upgrade course called Go for Gold in Math Challenges, and in that course you can learn about all of the techniques you need for the Math Challenges and practice on loads of original practice problems that I've made up there as well. But you can have a go at the free course first, it's a big course and it's very substantial and it'll really help you prepare uh, for the Junior Maths Challenge. So I really hope that I'll see you over there. So midnight would be 24.00, so at 23.35 there's another 25 minutes uh, until midnight because 35 plus 25 is equal to 60, so we've got 25 minutes until midnight. And then at midnight it's then another 1 hour and 15 minutes until 1.15, so 1 hour is 60 plus another 15 is 75 minutes, and that means that the total is 75 plus 25, which is 100, and the answer is A. Okay, so 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3, that gives me 0 0.6, and then if I do 0 0.6 minus 0 0.4, that gives me 0.2, so that's everything in the brackets. So we just have to work out what 0.2 divided by 0.5 is. And a couple of ways of thinking about this. One is to remember that a division is always uh, the same as a fraction, so 0.2 divided by 0.5 is 0.2 over 0.5 like this. And then I could times top and bottom by 10 and get 2 fifths. Uh, and then perhaps you know that 2 fifths is equal to 0 0.4, or you could times uh, top and bottom by 2 here and get 4 tenths, and then it's 0 0.4 for sure. The division sign, of course, is a fraction, right? It's a division with something on top and something on the bottom. So when I write 2 divided by 3, it's like I put the 2 up here and the 3 down here, and I get 2 thirds. The other way of thinking about dividing by a half is that uh, it's the same as multiplying by 2, right? So if you ever divide something by 1 half, that's the same as timesing it by 2. That's the same for any fraction with a 1 on the top. If I divide by 1 third, it's timesing by 3. If I divide by 1 quarter, it's the same as timesing by 4, etc. So you could just say uh, here that once you've got to 0 0.2, uh, it's 0 0.2 divided by a half, which is 0 0.2 times 2 and then 0 0.2 times 2 is 0 0.4, and so the answer is E. So we'll do this question in two ways. If Sam has eaten three quarters of the grapes, that means that there's one quarter remaining, so the ratio would be one quarter to three quarters. Now I could just multiply this ratio by four to get an equivalent ratio, and we'd see then that the answer is one to three. Now the second way of thinking about it, and a really nice way of thinking about ratios questions in general, is that so long as the number of grapes here is divisible by four, so that I can split it into three quarters and one quarters, it doesn't matter how many grapes I choose to form the ratio, right? So I could just imagine perhaps there were 100 grapes, he'd eaten three quarters of them, which would be 75, and there'd be 25 left. So the ratio would be 25 to 75, and I could simplify that down to one to three. And when you're choosing the ratio here, I probably wouldn't go for 100. I'd go for the smallest possible number that's divisible by 4, which is 4. So if he had 4 grapes, and he eats 3 quarters of them, there would be 3 grapes. Uh, that would be 3 grapes, and he'd have 1 left. And so that would be a ratio of 1 to 3. And we could do it without having to use fractions at all. OK, we need to cut one of these four, 5 shapes into 4 pieces by a single straight cut. Nothing really more to be done here than just playing around with it. If you're uh, doing this as a, a physical exam, you can use the side of the piece of paper to sort of um, imagine cutting across it or something. Like I look at the A here, I can split it into um, one piece, uh, two, two or three pieces here, 
pretty easily. Like I get three pieces like that, but there's no way to make four, but these jaggedy edges are quite helpful. Uh, and I can just sort of keep playing around with it until I find one uh, C's pretty uh, hopeless uh, here to get four as well. Um, and if you just keep playing around with it, eventually you'll find that E is the right answer. I can make a cut like this and that would split it here uh, into four pieces. One piece here, two here, three here, and four here. So the answer is E. Okay, so on uh, Effie's birthday, on her 16th birthday, she is 16, and Buster is three times uh, her age on that day. So when Effie is 16, Buster is three times 16, which is 48. If, um, if you don't know your 16 times tables, just add 16 together three times, 16, 32, 48. And uh, that means on if Effie's 21st birthday, well, she's going to be five years older than she was on her 16th birthday. So Buster must also be five years older, and that means he'll be 53. And so the answer is C. So I really hope you found this video useful. Don't forget, if you're preparing for math challenges at any level, I've made free courses for all of the math challenges. You can find links uh, in the descriptions below. Uh, click there and sign up to those now. No payment details required. Uh, nothing like that. You can sign up totally free of charge. There are some upgraded courses as well with some extra content. If you really want to master the challenges, you can sign up for those as well. But there's loads over there uh, for free. So I really hope that I will see you over there soon.